everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today I have another weekly planning routine video for you. So I'm gonna be taking you through all of the steps that I do to get set up for the week ahead. This video is gonna be for the week of July 10th through July 16th. But as has been a major theme for this summer, we were super, super busy this weekend and I did not set up anything in my planner. So it is actually Monday, July 10th now. I am still planning to go through my routine and get everything set up, but it is gonna work just like a little bit differently. Again, because it's Monday and this process just looks a little bit different. I have to tackle it earlier in the week versus when I tackle it before the week, which is my actual intention, but that's okay. I'm trying to be really flexible this summer because we have so much going on on the weekends and I don't want to sacrifice that because we are just having such a fun summer and it's been really, really amazing. So let's get set up. I have a bunch of different things on my desk here. I've got my Moxie Life, my weekly actions, which we're going to get to in a second. This is where I break down my goals for the week ahead into some action item steps. I'm also going to do a couple of little reflections on last week and check in with how things went. And I do have my July goals all set up. This video is already up as well. So we'll get to that in one minute. There's something that I want to do before that, which is a little bit different than how I usually do things. I've also got my Laurel Denise planner. We may do a little bit in there. That is my content planner. I've got this Erin Codron Hourly. I want to try and do a little bit more time blocking this week. And I'm in a time blocking mood. The Hourly Planner and particularly the Erin Codron Hourly, which I have here in the Color Blends version, is what I go to. I also just love these super bright colors and I pulled out a bunch of Simply Gilded Washi that's going to match this. I've got some fun, fun pens and markers as well. I've also got my Daily Duo. We'll be checking in with that as well. But I have something new that I've been using that I want to set up actually before I even set up my Moxie Life. And that is this Erin Codron Vertical Repositionable Whiteboard. I have been using this the past three weeks. So this will stick to any sh remotely shiny surface, including glossy paint. So I, and my desk in my office has a closet right next to it. So there is a door literally right next to where I sit. And I have been sticking this on the door. It does not stick to like a regular matte painted wall, but it, but it does stick to my office door, which has like a glossy paint on it. And it's been really helpful to just have this I haven't really been using like the to-do list on this or even the reminder section, but just to have the weekly overview. Last week in the reminder section, I did stick a habit tracker. Some weeks I've been using this as the only weekly overview that I'm using. And then this week I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in the hourly planner as well. But last week I actually only used this as the weekly overview. I didn't have another one. It's just really nice to have this as just like a kind of schedule and appointment overview because I just feel like I have a lot of scheduled things going on, which I wasn't necessarily anticipating having this summer. I'm not going to use the habit tracker this week. Habit tracking has like not been going super well for me lately and habits are still going well for me so I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm just gonna just gonna kind of embrace that but we're gonna get this all cleaned up. This was still set from last week and then we're gonna set this up with basically events only. That's the only thing that's going on here just like events, plans, appointments, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get my cleaner and we can clean this off. Just clean this off. That's an alcohol-based spray from MC Squares. These are wet erase markers, so you can also just clean this with water. I just happen to have this closer than I have water right now, so I am gonna use that. Though I probably should go get a glass of water. Uh, and this rag is actually also from MC Squares. It came with the cleaner. So I've got some Erin Codron water erase markers. These, I really love these. They write like a pen. They're very fine tip. And then I've also got some Tacky, which these are from MC Squares. These are like my favorite wet erase markers. And I've got some fine tips here and then like a little bit of a bolder tip one just in case I want a bolder tip uh, to kind of write on this. It's not like I have like a lot of stuff every day. It's usually like one or two things per day. But again, it's just been really helpful to see. I may, one next time I want to do no weekly overview planner and just this, I'll try using the to-do list. But I just have really been loving like this little schedule thing. I know a lot of people use this for meal planning too. I prefer a monthly meal planning calendar, but this would work super well. And this is going to stick to your fridge and really to, you know, kind of anything. So I don't have anything today. Tomorrow, I actually think I'm gonna go to a spin class. I wasn't sure because I thought I was gonna have a meeting scheduled, um, but I don't, it's on Wednesday. So I'm gonna put that in as a time sensitive thing because it is. You have to book that. So I will add in the time once I book that and I'll use the black marker to add in the time. I liked that. I, I did that the first week I used this and I really liked it. 
I just signed up for a class pass free trial. Uh, so I'm trying to use up all the credits before they expire. I do think I'm going to keep the membership though. I went to, I think my first post COVID exercise class. Uh, so it's been a really long time last week and it was so fun. It's this is something I used to really like, but I, I don't prioritize at all. But now with the kids in camp every day, and I feel like I have more time for all kinds of stuff. So I thought I would, I would try that out. Then on Wednesday, I've got like this big work meeting thing. Again, I actually, oh no, you know what? I do know what time it is. The meeting is at 1030. I was like, I was just gonna say, I don't know what time it is, but I will have to look. Uh, so I have a big like work client meeting and that's actually perfect because I can wash my hair after spin and then I will be all nice for my web call on Wednesday because that will be a video, a video meeting. And I think that's it for that. Then Thursday, I'm already signed up for an exercise class. I especially like to go on Thursday now because Thursday used to be my main errands day and I guess it still is, but our cleaning people come on Thursday morning. So then I like to be out of the house so that they can just like, you know, do their thing. So this is perfect. I used to just like take my daughter somewhere, but now she's at camp so I can take myself somewhere. And I have been going to uh, this, to Pilates actually, uh, which is super, super fun. It's the, like reformer classes. And I, it's something that I used to really, really love. I absolutely love writing with these markers. I think my handwriting, like on writing these wet erase stuff, it just, my handwriting looks really good. Don't have anything on Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, we are back at the beach. We were not at the beach this weekend. We were touring over night camps and we had a family birthday party. Oh my gosh, touring over night camps was just the best, most fun, nostalgic, experience. We just, me and my husband took the big kid and we left the little ones with uh, my husband's mom. She babysat them and it was so nice. One, my daughter had an absolute blast and she's just like, can I go to overnight camp right this second? And I'm like, next summer. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I loved, loved, loved camp as a kid and so I'm really excited. My husband didn't go to sleepaway camp, so he was like much more on the fence about this being an experience. I felt like really enthusiastic about it and that the kids, like I I'm just like a, a firm believer in camp because I had such a positive experience growing up with it. And, uh, but he, but my husband didn't, didn't go growing up. So he wasn't like against it, but he also wasn't like, we definitely have to do this. But after going to visit the camps, he's much more enthusiastic, which is also really nice. So the tours were super fun. And I'm um, really, yeah, we're just, it's, I don't know how you're supposed to pick because we, I loved both of the camps that we went to, but they had like such different vibes. And I was just like, I don't know how you're supposed to pick a camp. Um, but anyway, it was super, super fun. And if you are unfamiliar with the concept of overnight camp, it's like a, you know, it's just, a sleepaway camp so the kids stay there and eventually they'll like if that if not right away but eventually they will kind of work their way up to like a full summer at these camps at least that's our plan if they like it and it's just a really fun time they do like all different sports and activities arts and crafts music kind of everything and they stay there for the summer and it's just really really fun so that's all I have for this thing right now. I'm gonna put this back on my on my wall and I will add to it as needed, including the time for that class there. And if any other appointments and stuff comes out, we have like a lot of house projects going on right now. A lot of like stuff being scheduled in. Oh, actually Thursday we have piano, which I guess I don't really need to write in, but I will. Actually, I do feel like it's, it's helpful to know. And that is a time thing. All right, now. That is it for this. So I'm gonna put this back on my door. It's just like a little thing, takes two seconds to set up. And then even when my planners are like closed away, not on my desk, cause I'm working on something else. I do keep my planners out on my desk, but even when they're not now, I at least have my time sensitive stuff out. So let's get my Moxie Life set up. Actually, let's check in with this. So monthly stuff has all been finished. I had a super productive week. Finally got the trip proposals done. I'm pretty sure like 
95% sure we're going to be going to like Colorado and the Rockies for my husband and I for our 10 year anniversary vacation. We're both like pretty excited about that. It's also like a good affordable option. We, I really did want to go to Napa, but it's very expensive and this is going to be like a lot less money. And my husband wasn't like super enthusiastic about Napa. So I was like, if you're not super enthusiastic about it right now, we should wait because it's not worth the money then and we uh, and especially given like we have this kind of unexpected house expenses adding on to the expected house expenses of the repair because we have to have like all of this drainage work and some like siding repaired on our house unfortunately so anyway that is what's going on I don't think I did a I don't remember why this was on there last week but I I think I was planning to write something, but I also planned to have something published last week, but it got pushed to like this coming week. And anyway, it's a whole thing. It doesn't matter. Um, I am not overdue on everything and I ended up getting pulled on to like a consulting project anyway. So this is done. This is done. The editing has actually went pretty well last week, but I still feel behind on it. So we'll call that. All of the routines went pretty well. I did not do this. I don't know why I thought I was going to get to that, but that's fine. And I did not do this. So we got to work on that. I did my regular monthly checks and I did not do that. Um, but the habits all went well. This one's still kind of lacking, but we took care of some stuff for that. Okay. So wins for the week. I guess this is kind of like the classic what's a win and what's a highlight, but I'm going with the camp tours. Again, this was just, this was like the highlight of my summer. Um, but yeah, especially one of the camps we went to felt like so nostalgic to me. Um, my husband was like, this is the camp from Wet Hot American Summer. That's what he said after it was just like laughing. If that's a, a really super funny movie with like a bunch of SNL people, if you haven't seen it. But I don't know, it just feels like a really big, a really big milestone and just really fun. I know like most people don't do overnight camps, but it's especially common in, in like, the Jewish culture and a lot of these camps, even if they're not outright Jewish camps, are historically Jewish camps. That's, I'm gonna go with the PTA stuff. I guess this is a really like, I didn't need to start it last week. I think that was like something I was like, if I have time. Um, the bigger one is I feel like I've just been maybe like procrastinating on starting cleaning the basement just because I don't like being in the basement, but I just got an audiobook now. I haven't had an, I'm not like a big audiobook person, but I feel like uh, I feel like I need an audiobook to power through cleaning the basement. So I've got an audiobook now and we're gonna get started this week. And then actually, which can lead right into the next week. We're gonna go with the basement. I guess this would technically be more family, but I'm putting it in fun. Oh my gosh, again, I was it was just such a good time. And that's it for reflections. Now we can go on to my weekly actions for this week and let's start with here. And I here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say to log three hours of basement cleaning. So I will spend f at least three hours this week with the timer going because I always use a timer system when I'm cleaning in the basement just because, again, I really hate being down there. And I feel like the timer makes me like more motivated to go down there because then it's not like I have to stay until I'm done. It's like I only have to stay down there until the timer goes off. So that's what we're going to do. I want to log at least three hours in the basement using the timer system. And then we also just have like two habits, the daily clean, which feels like it's back going well again. And also the garden checks, which have also been going well. We have a volunteer plant this year, which is like a plant that grows somewhere you didn't plant it. And at first I thought it was a zucchini plant, which was something we've planted before, but now it looks like it's a watermelon plant. And so we just like randomly have watermelons growing, which I don't think I've ever planted watermelons at this house. We tried it once in Texas and it did not go well. Um, so, but that's really cool. And we have like one like kind of medium sized watermelon. It's really hard to know when to pick it because I don't actually know like what kind of plant it is. So I don't know if it's like a mini watermelon or if it's gonna grow into like some jumbo thing. This plant is enormous. Uh, and I'm just keeping an eye on it because I'm trying to let this thing grow, but I, it's near like some of our landscaping and I just don't want it to like kill any of the bushes that it's near. But that's been good. Um, I think that's kind of it. Just, again, just the basement and that. Uh, yeah. For health and wellness, I'm going to say to use slash book. My free trial for ClassPass expires 
uh, like July 19th, so like right after this week ends, and you can't roll your trial credits over, even though like once you have your account and you're paying for it, you can roll the credits over. Um, so I wanna just say to like use up, use slash book the rest of the, of the class pass credits, because I don't wanna lose out on the free trial. And it's just like kind of been really fun. I, again, I used to like love exercise classes, but I have not prioritized it at all since like having kids. So it feels really fun to go back to. And it's actually probably like the only way to get myself to like consistently uh, do exercise inside. Because otherwise, if I'm not outside, I'm not doing it. And I don't really, I'm not going to even bother to put outside time. I just, that's kind of how I'm living my life these days is outside as much as possible. Although it's been like incredibly rainy here and that's been difficult and um, I am gonna put that it's bedtime at 10 p.m. all right that's it for that um okay so for the PTA stuff I I'm gonna do the two things that I meant to do so I wanna and like the taxes honestly will only take me a couple, like very short amount of time to do 501c organization. So we are like a registered nonprofit. And if you're a nonprofit that takes in less than $50,000 per year, which we in donations, which we are, uh, then you're like, you just have to file this little taxes postcard to maintain your status. Um, so it's not a lot of work to do at all. I do keep our books like very carefully, obviously, because that's what my job is as the treasurer. But in terms of like the amount of time required to file taxes, it's, it's just not a lot of time. I just need to do it. And for finances, we'll just stay on this side of the week. Oh, I didn't color that one in. The only thing that I've got going on this week is it's going to be invoices week. So we do invoices. I invoice mid-month. So then up here under family and relationships. I'm not going to do anything back to school yet. I need to take care of the basement before I start in on that. It's try and do more with the reading. We actually, um, I actually, we just, we decided to get a reading tutor for my oldest, for my daughter to just like help out because I'm um, just like, I feel like she really is very unenthusiastic about reading and which makes it a lot harder for us to practice with her. Um, so if she was like really enthusiastic about it, it wouldn't be a problem. But I think that she just needs like a little extra support and hopefully we can build up a little bit more enthusiasm, enthusiasm for it. So I did book her in with a re reading tutor and that's gonna start next week. But we're gonna say reading practice and then I also got a game that we can try, like an iPad website game, whatever you want to call it. It's called, it's called Night Zookeeper and it has like some writing and reading elements to it and like storytelling, which she really does like to write. I started to write it down. We have not tried it yet, so she has not tried it at all yet. So if you've used it before and you like it, let me know. Um, but yeah, so we will be trying that out. I did like a bunch of research on on finding like a, some kind of program for her. And then the other thing here, now we have to do is, is like do some more thoughts on this camp stuff because believe it or not, these camps do start to book up. Like by the end of the summer, they are usually on like wait lists for the next year. So we, are, and actually our date camp works the same way. So it's, you real, like we, we're probably gonna make a decision on whether we're starting next year and which camp we're starting next year to try out. Um, we're probably gonna try and decide that kind of like in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, just kind of organize my thoughts so that we can be prepared to make that decision. And again, if we wanna book any more visits, we can book them. Okay, so I am wrapping a consulting project this week. And then I need to uh, like, game plan something else out uh, that's semi-channel, that's channel related, uh, that will be coming up next month. I am going to color in the health and wellness stuff while I um, have the markers right here. And then I'm gonna do fun and recreation. The first thing we're gonna put in there is, so, I mean, we're still just like enjoying all the beach stuff, etc., etc. We're going back to the beach this weekend, but we would like to book the preliminary trip stuff. So like our flights and a rental car uh, and maybe like a hotel or two. But we're looking at like a couple, we're pretty sure that we're gonna go to like the US Rockies, but we're de 
deciding on like an exact adventure path, if you will, uh, because there's lots of little towns you can visit, different stuff like that, but we know that we're gonna fly in through Denver, so, so we can book the flight while we still like figure out the plan for the rest of the stuff uh, and the rental car. So that's what I would like to do. We're just having like a little bit of a debate on like points versus just paying for it, and credit card stuff, so we shall see. My other girls plan fun things just for me, and I feel like I am just absolutely crushing that. Uh, this summer, it's the summer of me. All right, the other thing that I wanna say is my friend is, uh, that I'm planning to see the Barbie movie is back from her, she was on like a vacation, and so now I'm, and she was, she was out of the country, so I, we hadn't like figured anything out yet. So I want to just like make some plans with her. Oh, and actually I have one more speaking of talking to people. That's the last thing I need to just follow up with a former colleague about something. Okay. So here under the personal category, we are going to say time blocking because that's what we're going with this week. And then also just maybe like yeah, kind of it. We're going to do some time blocking this week. I said that's kind of what we're focused on. And I'm going to make the basement the focus. Especially if this, like, I feel like it's one of those things that is going to end up taking me longer than I think it is. And I don't want to get caught with, like, emergency zone where we're about to start work because we do have a start date for the renovation at this point and so I don't want to like get caught with like a scramble where with them we have to skip a beach weekend to cl finish clearing it out when I, when I literally had like plenty of time to work on it ahead of that I just chose to prioritize other things so I'm just gonna set this up as well so that is my maxi life so I'm gonna jump right in and start on my weekly overview all right, let's set up my hourly. I went and had lunch in between doing my goals and this, but I'm back and I'm ready to go. I am starting to do that thing where I accidentally on purpose make things take like way longer than they need to uh, and then end up using up all of my time. So I'm gonna try and stop doing that. I'm gonna try and hustle up and finish this and then finish some work stuff and then this day is gonna be over anyway. I have to pick up the kids around three and it's already almost 1.30. So we're just gonna go in here. Okay, and I wanna put, start with my to-do list. And actually I grabbed my Inspire stickers because I feel like these kind of match some of them. I can use the ones that have, I can use the ones that have um, silver foil because I'm using silver foil washi this week, but I don't have one that says to-do. I think we're just gonna dive in. All right, feeling a little discombobulated right now. So I'm just gonna transfer over some of my tasks from my Moxie Life to a weekly to-do list. Only like the concrete task things. All right, let's make a basement hours tracker. I don't know why I did that. I meant to write on top of the highlighter, but that's not what happened. Just gonna have a think about that for a minute. All right, so this is supposed to be three hours. Hopefully, the first of which will be tomorrow. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute, and then I'm gonna put another strip of color over it. It's, like I said, that is just really not what I intended to do there. I'm gonna see if I can find some more habit trackers. I really don't feel like like drawing them in myself. Okay, I couldn't find anything in the colors that I wanted, but I do have these. So I wanna see if I can make this work or if it's just like way too long. I guess I could go vertically. These have seven. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put three of these like so. I need to make it a little bit closer together. And then I'm gonna write the habit in. One of these is crooked and I cannot tell which one. This will be garden check. Then we'll do reading. And I don't mean myself for that, I mean reading with the kids. And then the last one will be my bedtime. 
I will like check them off, go like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc., all the way down the list. So that's going to be how that works. And then that's that. All right. So I'm going to quickly, at this point, almost back. Well, I'm going to do a couple of things at the same time. First, I'm going to back plan slash forward plan today, but I'm also going to block in certain things that are, you know, always at the same time. Like, let's use some washi for that. We got a lot of cute washies this week. And also put in dinner. I will put my meal plan in here as well, which is done. I actually did do it while I was eating lunch or right after I was eating lunch. I'm a little bit late on plans. I think I still need one more day. Tonight we are having lamb chops. And I don't think I planned Wednesday. And then Thursday we have takeout and then Friday, that's fine. We're into the weekend zone. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in for now. We are really low on meat and I might have to go to the meat store this week. So I will deal with the rest of the meal plan then. Things have to be a little more flexible in the summer. The things that I did today, I was on the phone with a friend when I uh, got back from dropping the kids off and then we talked for a while, which is kind of one of the reasons that I'm running a little bit behind today, but also just like in a good way because it was really nice to catch up. And I just also, I needed someone who would like understand about the overnight camp game uh, to like process with. <laughs> so that's that. And then I did a bunch of work. So did a little bit of planning, but we're not gonna work that in there. Then I had lunch. And then I am doing some planning. And that's kind of going to be it for today. Well, that's a thing that happened. Okay. Tomorrow. After carpool, we will pick up the dry cleaning. And then. I did book that spin class. And then I think I will like come home and I'll have like some personal care time. I will shower, get ready, have my lunch, whatever I want to call like that whole block of time there. And then make a goal. We're going to try and do 45 minutes in the basement. So I can like section that off into three 15 minute bubbles to check off for myself. And then in the afternoon, make sure I leave myself a little bit of work time and any call prep stuff that I need to do for my call the next day, which is at 1030. The morning time will be like chill, prep, relax, whatever, work call. Um, there's usually like a little bit of wind down and stuff from that. And then after I can have my lunch and then I will do a basement afternoon session. So I guess I will mark that the same way. And if I did my full 45 minutes the, the day before, I can do that again. And if I didn't do it, then I'll probably try and take that up to an hour. Now we can like have some relaxing time. Kids home from camp. This is all like kiddo time. I might even just put some washi there just for funsies. Uh, and then Thursday, the cleaners are coming. I have class at nine. A little hard to stencil close to the coil. If I have any other errands, I'll run them also while I'm out. I'll come back after a little while. I will have lunch. And then we can also try and do some more basement time. So we're gonna do it. We're just gonna try for like 45 minutes a day. Make sure I'm adding up to three hours here. So then if I did, if I do 45 minutes, four days of the week, then that is 
three hours. And that should, honestly, I ho I'm hoping that it's that leaves me like mostly done. There's going to be, there are going to be elements of this that I absolutely cannot do myself that like, uh, my husband is like, I am planning to pile stuff and then make my husband drag it upstairs. I won't say I absolutely couldn't do it myself, but like, well, actually there, we have the filing cabinet that I actually don't even think he's going to be able to lift himself that. So there are definitely going to be some stuff that, that, either we need to do together or that I, that I at the very least will need help with, but I can like put things in piles in the middle and be like, this is the trash pile. Please take this outside. This is the donation pile. I'll put it in my car. Uh, because like the stairs are really steep and stuff. So anyway, that's all good. Uh, so I need to do another one on Friday. Um, but before I do that, we do have piano lessons. And then it is kids' dinner, and it is takeout and TV night. Then on Friday, we'll need one more basement session, but I don't have, like, any plans on Friday right now. It's wide open, so I am going to mentally note slash log note that I'm going to need to do one more session, but I'm not going to schedule it in yet. I'm going to leave this wide open in case I want to book anything else in and see also like what I end up doing with this time because there's like some pockets of empty space here. Am I going to need filming time? Am I going to need more work time? Am I going to need more basement time? So we're just going to kind of leave that as is, but this is going to be, I don't know what our beach plan is, but it's going to be an up and go morning on Saturday as we do, as you've probably seen me write in my planner, which just means we wake up and leave first thing in the morning to head down to the beach. And we like to go Saturday morning instead of leaving like Friday night. I just, it just leaves us like a little bit more, I don't know. It's a, we don't lose out on any beach day because we were like literally in the car by 7 a.m. So by the time we get down there, and it's not a very far drive, so by the time we get down there, it's still before we would leave for the beach if we had slept there. And the kids sleep better in their own rooms. And uh, it's just like a little, leaves us a little bit more flexibility. And then Sunday we can decide, depending on the weather and how the kids are and what I feel like is coming up for the week ahead, if we want to drive back or stay down longer. We can leave any time between Sunday morning all the way through Monday morning and still not have it like totally derail our week. Also traffic dependent. All right, so that is my weekly overview all set up. Loving how that's looking. Oh, I do, I just, you know what? I'm just gonna throw in some washi right there because I don't need that space. This is like the time of the day when we, when we just have kid time. And so I'm gonna use this almost like bottom washi just as a little bit of decoration. Uh, I obviously needed that on Friday, on Thursday, and I'm not gonna put it in for the weekend. I will put it in for Friday though. I'm just kinda like marking it off. Except for that washi did not cut clean. I do actually, I really like the way that that was torn, but I didn't do it anywhere else, so okay. Now, that is my weekly overview. Let's just check in with my daily duo here. Um, but I'm not gonna go ahead and back plan this because I like did plan this. What I am gonna do is uh, just put a couple of things on my to-do list here. All right, so that's just like a last couple of to-do listing things that I want to do for tomorrow. Nope, for today. Just a couple of things that I would like to take care of. Right. So then I'm going to just draw in and I still have my wildflower stickers and all my wildflower washi and color palettes and stuff out by my desk from last week. And I just want to keep going with that in here. So I'm actually going to set up or Tuesday on the phone instead of on Monday because again it's Monday afternoon so that's when I would usually be planning for Tuesday so we can go ahead and do it together. Finally it looks like we're getting some sunshine days which is great because we've had so much rain. Oh it's gonna be super hot though. I always say like in like May when the kids got home from school I couldn't like I couldn't keep them in the house if they wanted they like didn't even want to watch TV they just wanted to be outside but now with how hot it's been and then spending the whole day outside at camp. They're just like, I, I don't wanna be outside, I don't even care. Like, can we just go inside, please? So that's what we will be doing. All right, the things that I need to do tomorrow uh, is any like last work call prep. Make sure all of that stuff's away, like editing, 
on like a vid plan for the week, which I'm probably not gonna get to today. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hair. I always like mark that on my to-do list because it feels like such a big to-do. Uh, right now it's cool because this will actually just be my second post-keratin watch. So super easy to get my hair dry right now, but like in general, it does feel like an, a whole ordeal. I have very long, very thick hair, so it does feel like a whole ordeal to wash it and dry it. And I only do it like max twice a week. So, you know, oh, I wanna get the dry cleaning. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to write this in my weekly overview, but that's fine. Tomorrow, because now I know exactly what I'm gonna put right here. I won't even pretend that I'm not excited that tomorrow is Prime Day. If you shopped and got anything cool, let me know what you got. Um, <laughs> I will be buying lots of things. I've got like a watch list going on, but I've also, we've also got some like bigger ticket items, including a TV for the ben for the basement renovation because we are planning to put a TV down there and we are hopefully gonna be buying that on Prime Day because uh, last year we, were o we almost did it on Black Friday, but the one we wanted wasn't on super sale and we were like, you know what, we don't know what's going on with the basement exactly yet, so let's just wait. And it was so good that we did because we ended up having to delay the basement project with uh, like with all the family stuff we had going on, uh, and so so we w that TV would have just been like sitting for a really long time. And now we can now we are ready to get it. Like our basement contract is signed. They they're starting work August first. It's not going to take like a super long time for them to finish. We it'll be an ideal ideal world by back to school. We should have the basement done. If not, you know, by the end of September, it'll be done. So to get a TV now would be ideal. And I'm also getting a new Kindle, which I'm really excited about because my Kindle is super, super old and it's like very, very, very slow. It's fine for like when I'm reading and essentially if it's in airplane mode, but like to get new books and to browse the store and stuff is just really difficult. So I'm getting a new Kindle and some other stuff. You know, I got a bunch of sales that I'm gonna check. So that'll be tomorrow. So then, I'm gonna see if I can find my spin shoes. Uh, I don't mind like renting them, but I prefer to wear my own and I have some somewhere. So it's been a really long time, but I did used to spin a lot. Probably do some shopping right first thing in the morning because that just sounds like a fun way to start my day. Uh, okay, so then that's gonna be like lunch, etc. It'll be a very early lunch, 10.30 lunch. I did kind of mean to put that a little bit lower, so I'm just gonna draw narrow because I don't feel like moving it. It's my whole lunch, etc. thing. And then, okay, what else? Uh, then we're gonna do the basement thing. So we can like literally block that in as 45 minutes. Um, back with the color in one second. This will be work time. I'm gonna like block that off time-wise, but leave it blank just in case if I don't need that full time, I can write in what else I'm gonna do. I love these new Erin Codron markers, but I keep getting so thrown off by the the like dot marker being on the, I think of this as like a highlighter cap and I, I'm gonna get so thrown off by the dot marker being on that side. Okay, so this is like some chunk of time that I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. Not my favorite setup ever. I don't know why I just did that, but I did. Okay, then we have dinner. And I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow night, so we'll wait and see. We can make a little shop list. Gives me another opportunity to use the dot marker. I know I'm getting a Kindle, like I said. And we've got the TV. I've got these shorts that I th that sh uh, look like they're about to go on sale. It like says like sale coming, so uh, shorts. And I uh, just leave a couple extra blanks because there will definitely be more stuff to keep an eye on. That's kind of it for Tuesday. I have the wildflower stickers. I'm not sure what I did with the washi. It's around somewhere, but I also just found this really pretty Simply Gilded one. So I think I'm gonna use that. I have to find the wildflower washi. Looks like, unfortunately, when I unpeeled this washi, I cut part of the side. So like the first few strips, there's just like a little bit missing on the sides, but that's okay. Cause it'll unwind in a second. Okay. So that is my Tuesday. That's what's going on. And 
that is it for that. So I'm gonna get my desk cleaned up and like stack my planners and then I'm gonna see what else I still have to do. Got my desk all cleared up, I got everything like all organized and then just figured things out and then I just quickly went through the footage on my phone. This is my Laurel Denise, my content planner. It's really hard for me to film myself while I'm doing the weekly planning in here. I just feel like I cannot talk or listen to anything while I do this because it's like involves me searching through my phone a lot and then like writing things down. So not quite a process that I figured out how to share yet. I guess I could do it as a sped up voiceover if that's something that you would be interested in. But I did just want to update you. I did just put like a couple of things in there. Uh, I don't have time to finish this up right now and I'm not worried about it. I will decide what I'm going to post tomorrow after I take some pictures, but all good. I uh, But that's all good for right now. I did just want to mention it and I will round this out and finish it up later, but that is everything. So I'm just going to push that to the back of the desk where I leave that open and I'm going to bring this back front and center where I'm going to leave this, this open. Again, just to remind you, my weekly overview, Monday and Tuesday in my daily planner and my weekly actions in my Moxie life. And that is it for today. So if you enjoyed this planning video, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. You can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye!